did your thing, okay. Good, good. Their yep. starters got good. everything, fine. Fine. got everything, everything hooked good. up. What's their starters look like? I got them. Zero, ten, oh, former Hurricane, Grant Howard. All right, got it. Hey, 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 what's going on? Let's, let's do a basketball game. Yeah, me too. And see who gets the most points. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really close, I mean, matchup. Nine and eight, yeah. So, <laughs> you will. <laughs> no, it won't be long, I promise you. See ya. Hello again, everyone. This is Rusty Tunney. We'll be bringing you tonight's action from the Storm Dome as Georgia Southwestern State University will be taking on Columbus State University. Just reaching out and giving a fist bump to former Hurricane assistant coach, who is now an assistant coach at Columbus State, Jalen Butler, under the direction of Coach Robert Moore. Uh, here's tonight's starting lineups. First for Columbus State. Starting for Columbus State, it'll be a 6'1 guard from Marietta, Georgia, Damir Black. Also starting at guard will be a 6'6 graduate student from Columbus, Georgia, Daniel Melvin. Starting at forward will be a 6'3 senior from Douglasville, Georgia, Grant Howard. Starting at forward, a 6'7 graduate student from Demopolis, Alabama, Nelson Haskin. And rounding out the starting lineup will be a 6'7 sophomore from Sugar Hill, Georgia, Jelani Jones. For the Hurricanes, we'll line up like this. Starting at guard will be a 6'5 senior from Lawrence, Kansas, Brian Tolfrey. 
Also starting at guard will be a 6'5 senior from Sewanee, Georgia, Devin Higgs. Starting at guard will be a 6'2 junior from Raleigh, North Carolina, Philip Burwell. Starting at forward tonight in a second straight start will be a 6'6 sophomore from Ella, from Fayetteville, North Carolina. That'll be Reggie Rayner. And rounding out the starting lineup will be the post player, a 6'8 junior from St. Petersburg, Florida, Jerota Briscoe. We'll take this two minute break and be back as Coach, as Keith Micklig will introduce the starting lineup to the crowd here at the Storm Dome. We'll be back after two minutes for tonight's action between the Cougars and your Hurricanes after this. You're listening to Georgia Southwestern State University Basketball on 94 Sports. Yes, yes, if you can. That would be wonderful. here in the Storm Dome where Keith Micklick is finishing up the introduction of the Hurricane starting lineup. The Hurricanes come into tonight's contest with a 9-8 and eight overall record, a 2-6 and six Peach Belt Conference record. They're under the direction of Aaron Coombs, who's in his fourth season as head coach of the Hurricanes. He's assisted by Marcus Faison and Danny Zarzutski. The Cougars come in with a nine and nine overall record, two and six in the Peach Belt. They are under the direction of Robert Moore, assistant coach Jalen Butler, and a graduate assistant Carl Ivey. The Cougars decked out in all blue, trimmed in red and white. Hurricanes in their traditional all white uniforms trimmed out in navy blue and gold. So we're just about ready. Looks like it's gonna be Nelson Haskin and Gerota Briscoe jumping at center court. And it's gonna be controlled by Demer Black. Black's gonna hand it off to Grant Howard. Howard to Jelani Jones, back to Black. Black at the top of the key. Cut off there by Philip Burwell. Pulls up, his shot is no good. Rebound taken by Devin Higgs. Higgs on the run, crosses midcourt, hands it off to Burwell. 
Burwell out between the circles, gonna be picked up there by Demir Black. Rainer back to Burwell. Burwell down the lane, kicks it over in the corner to Brian Tolfrey. Tolfrey's three-pointer no good. Briscoe almost had the rebound, had it knocked away and picked up there by Grant Howard, quickly up court. That's gonna be Daniel Melvin for three, in and out, rebound taken by Philip Burwell. Burwell on the run. Hands it off to Reggie Rayner. Rayner to Briscoe. Briscoe hands it off to Burwell, top of the key. Guarded by Nelson Haskin over on the right wing to Colfer. Colfer gets it down low. Outlet pass intercepted there by Demare Black. His shot is up, no good. Loses a handle on it. Coach Robert Moore wants a foul, doesn't get it. So it's gonna be Hurricane basketball on the turnover by Demare Black. Philip Burwell. Burwell. Devin Higgs gets it back to Burwell in the corner. Burwell dribbles to the free throw line, kicks it over in the corner to Tolfrey. Back out to Burwell. Nine on the shot clock. Toll free, little stutter move, gets it back out to Burwell for three, shot no good. Loose ball picked up there by Daniel Melvin. Melvin quickly up court to Demir Black, down in the corner to Jelani Jones, his shot is no good. Gonna be picked up on a loose ball by Reggie Rayner. And the officials are going to say it went off of Nelson Haskin. Now they're going to change their mind and say it went off of Reggie Rayner. So it'll be inbounds for the Cougars, Demir Black. Black hits it to Daniel Melvin. Melvin quickly to Nelson Haskins. Back Briscoe down in the lane. His left-handed hook shot is no good. Rebound by Reggie Rayner. Hands it off quickly to Philip Burwell. Burwell at the free throw line. Gets it to toll free. Pulls up from 18 feet, no good. Rebound by Haskin. Haskin, outlet pass to Grant Howard. Howard on the run, kicks it out to Black. Black on the right wing, gets cut off there by Devin Higgs. Black backs it back out. Gets a pick there from Jelani Jones. Haskin over to Melvin. Melvin on the left wing, back top of the key to Jelani Jones. Cross court pass to Grant Howard. His shot is up off the glass and good. Wow. Grant Howard with the basket. He'll get a free throw also. How in the world that ball went in, I'll never know, but he hit the sweet spot on the glass. That foul is going to be on Philip Burwell, his first of the night. Free throw is up and good. So the Cougars strike first and lead three to nothing. Philip Burwell. Up court to Briscoe, back to Burwell in the corner. Burwell back out to Higgs, Higgs for three, top of the key, good! He nailed that three-pointer. Devin Higgs with three, ties the game at three. Higgs, a 6'5 senior from Sewanee, Georgia. Cougars now with the basketball. Daniel Melvin with the three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Haskin. Haskins gonna get it back out to Grant Howard. Back over to Haskins on the left wing. Back to Jelani Jones. A little extra step in there, I thought, but his shot doesn't go. Rebound by Devin Higgs. Higgs, down court to Brian Tolfrey on the right wing. Shake and bake move. Back out to Rayner. Rayner swings the ball around, has it intercepted by Demir Black. His layup is up and good. 5-3 your score, full court pressure here now by the Cougars. Burwell dribbles through it down the lane and a slam dunk on the... by Reggie Rayner, a lob pass there by Philip Burwell. Reggie Rayner was so far above the rim on that play, it left me speechless. Daniel Melvin for Columbus State. What a tremendously accurate pass by Philip Burwell. Grant Howard in the lane, shot 
blocked by Gerota Briscoe, but a whistle is going to indicate a foul. That foul is going to be on Brian Tolfrey. That'll be the first of the night. And with that, we'll take our first media timeout. 15.39 to go here in the first half. We have a tied score, five to five. We'll be back after this 60 second break. You're listening to Georgia Southwestern State University basketball on 94 Sports. night the same thing happened Philip Burwell had a great night on law passes Devin Higgs with a couple of slam dunks last week so we've started out this week with Philip Burwell with another tremendously great lob pass Reggie Rayner the benefactor that time with a slam dunk racing down the Baseline, first free throw by Grant Howard is no good. So he'll get another free throw. Second free throw on the way up and it's no good, but a rebound by Jelani Jones. He'll put it back up and it's good. Jelani James that is, I'm sorry, Mr. James. It's Jelani James, not Jelani Jones. So Burwell, cross court pass over to Tolfrey, Tolfrey in the corner to Higgs. Cross court pass now to Philip Burwell. Back to Tolfrey, Tolfrey for three. His shot is no good. Loose ball picked up by Jelani James. Kicks it out to Grant Howard. Howard on the run. Inside to Nelson Haskin with a no look pass and it's good. Nelson Haskin with the basket makes it nine to five. Four point lead for the Cougars. Tolfrey in the corner to Higgs. Higgs thought about the three pointer. Gets it inside to Bur Briscoe, Briscoe having a hard time with the handle. No, that's Jamari Dean who's checked in the game. And we're gonna have a whistle down court. That's gonna be a foul on Devin Higgs. That'll be the first of the night on Devin Higgs. Gonna send Jelani James to the line. He'll get two free throws. First free throw on the way is up and it's good. So Jelani James now with three points. Jordan Johnson will check in at guard. Brian Tolfrey will take a rest. Next free throws on the way, it's no good. Jamari Dean will get the rebound. Gonna get it out to Philip Burwell. He's gonna be met at mid court by Jelani Jones, it, well it is Jelani Jones. I thought I had it right. Pass by Johnson over to Burwell. Burwell lane, tries to get it to Reggie Rayner, kicked off of Rayner's shin. Hurricanes now with the basketball once again. Rayner, left hand layup and good. Reggie Rayner. With the basket, that's four points on the night for Rayner, 10 to seven. Columbus State with the lead. Grant Howard pulls up from 18 feet and it's good. Two pointer for Grant Howard. Howard now with five points, makes it 12 to seven. Burwell down the left side, gets it out to Jordan Johnson. His three pointer is up and good. So three-pointer from the sophomore guard from Bowie, Maryland. 
Makes it 12 to 10. Grant Howard for Columbus State. Dribbles over on the left wing, guarded there by Reggie Rayner. Hits it back out to Daniel Melvin. Melvin down low. Nelson Haskin back out to Howard. 11 on the shot clock. Daniel Melvin for three, no good. Loose ball is going to be picked up by Jordan Johnson. Johnson gets it back to Rayner. Rayner over to Burwell. Burwell up the left side. Now down the left side of the lane, throws a high shot off the glass. Rims in and out. Rebound taken by Demir Black. Black to Grant Howard down on the left baseline. Back out to Nelson Haskin. Haskin in the lane, throws up a little eight footer and it's good. Nelson Haskin with four points. We're at the 12.42 mark here in the first half. Columbus State leads 14 to 10. Jordan Johnson gets it inside to Jamari Dean and now we're gonna have a whistle. There'll be a foul called here. That foul is going to be on Grant Howard. That'll be his first of the night. So it'll be an inbound situation. Kalen Clifton will check in for Columbus State. So will Joshua Jerome. Jerome, a 6'7 junior from Miami. Inbounds goes to Jamari Dean. Dean going to give it back to Devin Higgs. Higgs out to Burwell. Burwell's going to get caught for stepping on the sideline. So that'll be a turnover by the Hurricanes. Columbus State going to face a little pressure here by the Hurricanes. Ladarius Jones on the left wing, picked up by Toll Free. Now they're gonna switch. Burwell picks up Jones. Now Grant Howard for Columbus State into the lane, loses a handle on it. Burwell gonna pick it up, gonna drive the right side off the glass up and good. So Philip Burwell with his first basket of the night, cuts the lead to two, 14 to 12. Columbus State with the lead. Nelson Haskin dribbles into the lane. Turnaround jump shot a little short. Philip Burwell with the rebound. Burwell on the run, crosses midcourt. Over on the left wing, dribbles into the lane, loses a handle on it, picks it back up, goes hard to the lane, has his shot knocked away. Haskin picks up the loose ball, gets it out to Ladarius Jones. Jones gets it to Kalen Clifton. Big spin move in the lane. Loses a handle on it. And with that, we'll take a timeout. Foul is called on Devin Higgs. 11.26 to go here in the first half. Columbus State leads by a score of 14 to 12. We'll be back after this 60 second break. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. I'll be joined tonight at halftime by former Georgia Southwestern State University men's assistant coach, Stephen Cox. We'll check in with Coach Cox at halftime. Coach Cox served under head coach Mike Leader. Always good to see former Hurricanes back here in the Storm Dome. Kalen Clifton will be at the line. His free throw is up, it's good. Clifton shooting 78% from the free throw line so far this year. Second free throw on the way, it's up, and it's good. So Clifton with two points now. 
makes it 16 to 12. Devin Higgs gets it to Philip Burwell. May have gotten away with one there. And Coach Robert Moore didn't miss a thing on that one. Jalen Jordan in the contest for the Canes. Down low, gets a pass inside. A little soft touch shot is up and good. So Jalen Jordan with his first basket of the day cuts the lead to two, 16 to 14. Columbus State, Joshua Jerome with the basketball. Gonna get it to Marcellus Lockett. Lockett. Gets it out to Nelson Haskin. Haskin on the baseline, loses a handle on it. Picked up by Jordan Johnson. Johnson to Burwell. Burwell now to Devin Higgs. And we're going to have a blocking foul. So the basket's going to count. Nice moves to the basket by Devin Higgs. So Higgs will get a shot at the old fashioned three point play. That foul is going to be on Marcellus Lockett. Pig shooting 64% from the line so far. Free throw on the way, just a little short. Rebound by Joshua Jerome. Gets it out to Jones. Jones quickly in the corner to Lockett. Lockett pump fake. Dribbles down the baseline, a little reverse layup off the glass is up and good. So Marcellus Luckett with his first basket of the night. Burwell down the right side, dribbles through the lane, back out to Jordan Johnson. His running left-hander is no good. Nelson Haskin on the rebound, quickly to Ladarius Jones. Jones over to Luckett for three. His shot is no good. It's going to go out of bounds off of. Let's see who they're going to give that to. I don't. Florida. It's going to be Columbus basketball, so they must must have said the ball went off of Jordan Johnson. Columbus State with the basketball underneath their own basket. Marcellus Lockett on the baseline, Max back out. Going to drive down the baseline, cut off there by Reggie Rayner, kicks it back out to Nelson Haskin. Haskin over to Ladarius Jones. Jones at the top of the key, getting a pick from Haskin. Drives down the right side. He took a couple of extra steps. So Jones called for the travel. That'll be a turnover on Columbus State. 18-16, your score. Hurricanes with the basketball. It's going to be Phillip Burwell for the Canes. Up the left, far sideline. Jordan Johnson for three, good. Jordan Johnson with his second three-pointer of the night. Makes it 19-18, first lead of the night for the Hurricanes. Ladarius Jones for Columbus State. Back out to Kalen Clifton, swings it around back to Jones on the left wing. Haskin to Jerome, inside to Ladarius Jones, dribbles back out, 10 on the shot clock. Ladarius Jones, guarded by Reggie Rayner, loses a handle on it, gets it back out to Kalen Clifton, two on the shot clock, throws it up. Shot is no good. Loose ball picked up by Nelson Haskin. Haskin's going to get it to Kalen Clifton. Clifton now to Marcellus Lockett. Lockett spin move in the lane, kicks it back out to Joshua Jerome. His shot no good. Loose ball picked up there by Jordan Johnson. Johnson cross court pass to Philip Burwell. Burwell right here in front of us. Grant Howard's gonna get ready to check back in. Burwell for the Hurricanes. Gets it to Jalen Jordan in the lane. That's a loose ball. Jalen Jordan actually on top of the basketball, but both arms behind his back on the basketball. They're gonna call a jump ball. So it looks like it's going to be Hurricanes basketball. Devin Higgs will throw it in. I think they're going to say down on the baseline. Uh, Philip Burwell will now check in, will throw it in. Burwell. 
They bounce to Reggie Rayner. Rayner back out to Devin Higgs. Three on the shot clock. Got to throw it up. Higgs for three, no good. And now they're going to call a foul. That, they're going to say a foul on Joshua Jerome. Coach Moore certainly didn't agree with that. So it'll be a Hurricanes basketball and a 20-second shot clock reset. Higgs over to Johnson. Now to Jalen Jordan. Jordan on the baseline. Looking for a shot. He's getting double teamed. Has his pass intercepted. Cougars on the run. That'll be, oh, that shot is swiped away there by Devin Higgs. Shot by Grant Howard is no good. 7.47 to go here in the first half. Cougars down by one. The Hurricanes with a 19-18 lead. We'll take a 60-second break. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. Hurricanes shooting 50% from the field so far. They're eight for 16. Columbus State only seven for 20, a 35% clip. Hurricanes also three for seven from three-point land. That's 43%. Hurricanes can keep that up. They'll should be a good night for the Hurricanes. Grant Howard inbounds. Can't see quite that far. That's going to be Kaylin Clifton. Clifton on the baseline, turnaround jump shot up, no good. Loose ball taken by Joshua Jerome. He's going to have it kicked out, and they're going to say out on Columbus State. A couple of Hurricanes were pretty quick and immediate about making that call, and the officials agreed with them. Burwell over to Devin Higgs. Higgs dribbles down, gets it to Briscoe. Briscoe in the lane, up and good. Nice dish off by Devin Higgs. Gerota Briscoe breaking to the basket. Gets the basket to go. Foul is going to be called on Nelson Haskin. He's going to send Gerota Briscoe to the line. Briscoe shooting 32% from the free throw line so far. Averaging five points. Free throws up and it's no good. Rebound is going to be taken by Joshua Jerome. Gets it to Grant Howard. Howard over to Marcellus Lockett. Back to Howard. Kicks it up to Nelson Haskin. That's going to be Kalen Clifton. Power move to the basket. He's going to get the basket. Makes it 21 to 20. Hurricanes now with the basketball. Philip Burwell hands off to Jordan Johnson. Swings it back around to Devin Higgs. Higgs for three. Good! Devin Higgs with another three-pointer. Higgs makes it 24-20. Devin's another really good three-point shooter for the Hurricanes. Hurricanes now four of eight. Marcellus Lockett for three. It's up and good. So Lockett now with five points. He's reached his average per game at five, 24-23. Looks like this one may be, turn out to be just like the women's game. Hurricane women win the game with Columbus State, 85 to 80. JoJo Williams, the big scorer in the game for the Lady Hurricanes. She had 30, she was eight for 14 from the three-point line. Columbus State now with it, that'll be 
Joshua Jerome kicks it back out to Grant Howard. Howard with 13 on the shot clock out near midcourt, directing traffic. It'll be picked up by Devin Higgs, five on the shot clock. Down on the baseline, that's Joshua Jerome. Nope, make that Kalen Clifton. Clifton with the basket. Clifton now with six points, gives the Cougars a one point lead, 25 24. Gerota Briscoe trying to back. Oh, and he is going to get called for the travel. And so we're going to have a foul call. That foul is going to be on Nelson Haskins. First, one official called the official. He was the one on the front side. He didn't see from the back side. The other official saw. That was on Grant Howard, not Nelson Haskins. They said 10, got him on the arm, grabbed him by the arm. Immediately, Gerota Briscoe made that call. Official on the backside agreed with him. Going to send Gerota Briscoe to the line. Briscoe's going to get two free throws. He has missed his only free throw of the night so far. So they're going to say he wasn't in the act of shooting. It's going to be an inbound situation for the Hurricanes. Devin Higgs in and out. Rebound taken by Joshua Jerome. Quickly out to Marcellus Lockett. Lockett up the right side. Over to Jerome. Jerome. Who got Philip Burwell right in the mouth? I think he was trying to get that to Nelson Haskin. Philip Burwell wasn't anticipating the pass, got him right in the face. So it'll be Columbus State basketball. Inbound goes to Nelson Haskin. Haskin hands it off to Lockett. Lockett. Started by. Jordan Johnson, his shot is no good. Loose ball picked up by Jordan Johnson. Johnson on the run, cross court pass to Burwell. In the corner to Devin Higgs. Devin Higgs drives to the basket up and good. Devin Higgs now with 10 points, makes it 26-25. Canes lead by one, 440 to go here in the first half. It's been a fast first half. That pass is knocked away by Devin Higgs. He's gonna go up for the slam dunk. Higgs with a one-handed slam dunk, makes it 28 to 25. That's gonna get the crowd on the feet. And a timeout has been called. We'll take a 30 second break, but we're, nope, let's make that a 60 second break. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. after that slam dunk by Devin Higgs. Columbus State basketball. Demir Black gets it back to Kalen Clifton. Clifton there guarded by Philip Burwell. Clifton gets it down in the corner to Daniel Melvin. Melvin cut off there by Rayner dribbles back out now to Nelson Haskin. Haskin out top of the key. Gonna drive down the right side. Seven on the shot clock. Spin move, little jump left hook up and good. So Haskin with the basket. He's got six points on the night. Burwell quickly up court. Gets it down in the corner to 
Johnson. Ball gets reversed around. Rayner over to Burwell right here in front of us on the right wing. Gets it inside to Gerota Briscoe. Oh, gonna try to get it to Reggie Rayner, just out of the reach of Reggie Rayner. Goes out of bounds, so it'll be Columbus State basketball. 3.35 to go here in the first half. Don't forget, we'll have former assistant coach Stephen Cox on at halftime. Columbus State with the basketball. That'll be Daniel Melvin with the three-pointer. No good. Rebound's going to be taken there by Reggie Rayner. Rayner. Drive, shot, rolls in and out. No good. Quickly up court. That'll be Wisdom Uba. Hands off to Demir Black. Black gets it to Haskin. Haskin on the left wing. Cross court pass goes to Uba. Uba kicks it back out. Demir Black running one hander in the lane, and I believe Philip Burwell is going to get called for the foul, and that he is. That'll be the second on Philip Burwell. Demir Black will go to the free throw line. Black shooting 86% on the season. He's got two points so far. His first free throw is no good. Hey, win. 13, 13. Second free throw on the way. Up oh, and it's good. So Black now with three points. Ties the game at 28. Philip Burwell. Crosses midcourt, picked up there by Jelani Jones. Robert Moore employing a 1-3-1 zone defense against the Canes. Burwell down in the corner to Johnson. His three-pointer no good. Rebound by Haskin. Haskin is going to dribble it up himself, crosses midcourt, looks for somebody to pass to. Looks awfully uncomfortable dribbling the ball. It's going to be Wisdom Uba. Uba from McDonough, Georgia, at the free throw line. Kicks it back out to Demir Black. Demir Black for the three-pointer, up and good. So Demir Black with the three-pointer makes it 31-28. 1.49 to go here in the first half. Philip Burwell, cross-court pass, has it knocked away. Loose ball picked up by Nelson Haskin. Gets it to Uba, no-look pass. It's Jelani Jones, Jones converts the basket. And Coach Eric Coons won't and gets a timeout. We'll take a 30 second timeout. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. Columbus State on a 5-0 run here in the last minute. We had a 28-28 score before Columbus State has scored the last five points. Hurricanes will have the basketball. Full court pressure by Columbus State gonna get it into Devin Higgs. Cross court pass to Philip Burwell. Burwell on the run. Gonna get it to, oh, tries to get it to Gerota Briscoe. Gonna go off Briscoe and it's gonna be, oh, don't know. Yep, gonna say it's Columbus State basketball. I believe Philip Burwell could have went ahead and shot that for the layup, but he tried to get a lob pass to Gerota Briscoe. Quickly up court, Jelani Jones over on the far side. Jones back out. Wisdom Uba cross court pass to Roman Sun. 
Now back to Demir Black. Black pulls up a three. His shot is no good. Loose ball picked up by Roman Sun. Cross court pass Jelani Jones. Jones for three, up and good. 36-28, an eight point lead for Columbus State. They scored the last eight points. Burwell, gonna drive down the lane. Loses the handle on it, gonna go off of Nelson Haskin, I believe. So it's gonna be Hurricane basketball. Jordan Johnson will inbounds for the Canes. Gets it into Jalen Jordan. Jordan gonna hand it off to Burwell. Burwell, 14 on the shot clock. Hands it off to Reggie Rayner. Rayner gives it back to Burwell. Burwell, five on the shot clock. Three pointer, no good. Desperation shot there. Loose ball, picked up by Wisdom. Uba gonna get it forward. Nelson Haskin, oh, and how in the world did Roman Sun end up with it. Loose ball now to Devin Higgs. Higgs up the far sideline. Tries to get it over to Reggie Rayner. Throws it over his head. There's another turnover by the Hurricanes. So it'll be Columbus State basketball. That's the 10th turnover of the night for the Hurricanes. Columbus State will probably play for the last shot of the half, 15 seconds. 12 seconds, Demir Black with the basketball, seven seconds. Demir guarded by Devin Higgs, pulls up from 18 feet. His shot is no good, rebound by Phillip Burwell. And we'll go to halftime with Columbus State leading 36 to 28. We'll be back with Coach Stephen Cox with our halftime interview after this. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. Yes, please. All right, I'm about to go right now. We have the floor and we have the floor and the have the floor the the also, if you need to get a copy of the you can go around and get a racket the name to the table. Just see the girl up there and see them all stacked up. Ready to go. We have three pulls of prisoners. Most of the police don't have a call. We're actually on the court here. Also, we're going to take a surprise wheel. One of the presenter proceeds for a measly dollar. You get a surprise wheel and you win a prize every time. Guaranteed prize wheel.
right, you'll, you'll use, you got that. I'll turn you, turn you up, turn you to go. We'll talk in here too. We're here at halftime at the Storm Dome where Columbus State leads by a score of 36 to 28. I'm joined by former Georgia Southwestern State University men's assistant coach, Stephen Cox. Coach Cox served under the leadership of Mike Leader. We're gonna have a good interview here at halftime. <laughs> coach, I'm just, I'm just letting you know like, for our listeners, I'm looking at all the notes that Mr. Tundy has here. He's got his half court with the paint in the lane and made shot and highlighted. And then he's got his general description to go along with the stats on the phone and keeping track of points. And I mean, you are getting after it. I'm a busy guy, yeah, Coach. Are, I'm a busy guy. I love this setup. I, I, got to, I got to have knowledge at my fingertips. I don't know, man. I, I guess it, it just up. shows how incompetent I am. What is this right here? What is that? That's my lucky rock. Oh, you gotta have that. That rock, that lucky rock's gonna get us back in the game, yeah. I tell you. We need, we need it. Coach Cox, it's good to see you once again. That Brings was. back a lot of old good memories of when you were here. Why don't you tell everyone out there, or remind everyone who's familiar <laughs> with you, just remind everyone a little bit about yourself, uh, your experience here, when you were here, and give us a little background. I was here from was it 2009 to 2012. Uh -huh. So the 2009-2010 season, we were awful, unfortunately. And that was my first year. <laughs> um, and we were, you know, had had a bunch of bunch of different guys, but you know, we really had to. After that season, really, Coach Leader and myself just kind of sat down. We really just need to change a bunch of things, and we ended up signing a bunch of good players and. And then 2011 occurred when we went to the national tournament, and that was really, really fun. And then uh, there was a connection uh, after my three years here. I went down to Thomas University and was a head coach there, but it was from the connection from Coach Leader. So um, that was fun. But, yeah, this place has changed. Coach Leader gave me a tour around the place today. I love the beer. We have beer and wine now, so our listeners and our, our fans can enjoy themselves during the game. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's just a great atmosphere. Yeah, the digital signs that that's that, that, that kind of made you know, made this the storm dome really special. I mean, that's a big deal at this level is having digital signage and, and stats and everything else, and then to go along with the hitting, the hitting, uh, the baseball, softball, oh, yeah. the hitting facility. That was big. Tim got a chance to meet the baseball coach, Josh, right? Yes, the baseball coach. You got it and uh, met uh, Darcy, the golf coach, so uh, to go along with the all the other- The National Coach of the Year. Yes. You know, National, coach of, National year. coach of the Year. To go along with all the other people that are, are worked here or still live here, it's just really good to see people again and smile on faces, so really appreciate the hospitality again, and America's always a special place for us. Well, tell us about what you're doing now. I got out of coaching, and after Thomas University, I went to Kennesaw State University to work with Al Skinner. Al Skinner is a legend former, in the business. Former NBA player, right? Yeah, former NBA player. He, he was the head coach of Rhode Island for nine years and was the head coach at, at Boston College. And to give you an idea of how big time he was, he took a pay cut from Boston College to come to Kennesaw State. Uh -huh. So at Boston College, he was making $900,000 a year. Yeah. He goes to Kennesaw State to make one hundred and seventy-five. dollars uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> so uh, we were lucky to have him at Kennesaw State, but uh, had some good seasons, was 500, but the administration thought otherwise. So I got out of coaching, and now I sell uh, food equipment. And, oh. I do, and I do card processing as well. Well, good deal, good deal. Well, tell us a little bit about how you initially got to know or came in contact with Coach Mike Leader and how that came about and just how you guys just kind of always jail together. I mean, yeah. it just, it was, it, it was up to me when I would come to ball games in. It's just like you guys were on the same page all the time. Uh, not all now the you, time. I was going to say that. <laughs> you might not have been behind closed doors, but. I'll tell you, we, we went at it a few times. We have some legendary stories of, of us being nose to nose on a few things. But, uh, you know, I learned a ton from him. Uh, 
one thing that it really taught me was how to be like, how to be an administrator. Like when I was here, I wasn't the head coach, obviously, yeah. but I was making head coaches' decisions, like scheduling arrangements and, and travel schedules, um, hotel accommodations, uh, fundraising, right. uh, recruiting. So uh, all those things, I mean, when you're coaching, anybody of our listeners, coaching on the court is 15% of the job. Right. The other 85% is administrative. But, and people don't realize that, do they, Coach? I mean, there's yeah, so many things that have to go into. And I mean, you know, Roy Williams may not have to do all that stuff, <laughs> but when you're in the peach belt and you're at this level, you know, there's a lot more work that the head coach has to do, do rather than just the X's and O's. Yeah, I mean, it goes, it, it's on the court. You're on the court, what, an hour and a half, two hours, and that's instructing, that's, that's teaching, that's coaching. And then you go into the film room a little bit for, you know, half hour, an hour or whatever, and that's a little bit of teaching too, but that's three hours out of 24 hours. So yeah. do the math. I mean, the rest of it is phone calls, emails, texting, you know, this, that, and the third. So, but it's, but it was fun. And yeah, we were always, you know, we changed the culture a little bit uh, throughout that, throughout the sh my short time here. And, and obviously he's the head, head honcho now. So he's done a lot, done a lot of good things here at Southwestern. And, it's uh, good to see all the all the ch modernized changes, uh, oh, especially yeah. with the what's happening in the Peach Belt and all the changes going on there. Well, playing at the Peach Belt level, I think uh, one of the keys was when Dr. Neil Weaver came in to be the president of Georgia Southwestern State University. Uh, I know many stories that Coach Leader tells me about how uh, Dr. Weaver is driven for success, and uh, you know. And, he expects the people to work for him to work hard and to have the same goal in mind. And so that's when you when you're when you're leading a university when you have a, an athletic program, a sports program, that's what you should ex expect. And you know, and, and and that's it's it's a big deal to Dr. Weaver to have successful athletics because that draws regular students on campus. Sure. I, I met him for the first time today. I, I wasn't here when he was here. Uh, but uh, you know, Coach Leader speaks volumes of them. Obviously, there's been a big commitment to athletics here in the last number of years since Leader's taken over, and, and a lot of those decisions were made by by Dr. Weaver. I, I saw him with his cowboy boots on. So, oh yeah, you know, he's, you know, you know he's, he's a good guy. Yeah, you know he's a, some you know America's guy. You know, so that, that's that's a good that's a good sign. But but yeah, the commitment that's been made and and um, and the changes that has occurred. You know, the one thing I always told people when I was working here. I would go out recruiting in random places, Augusta, Rome, Macon, Tampa, Jacksonville, sometimes in Mobile, everywhere I would, sometimes in small cities. And I would say I would wear my Georgia Southwestern stuff. And Georgia Southwestern, as you know, has a long, long history of, of alumni, people that may have went here a, a year or two or three or played there, has a connection there. Yeah. And more times than not, about every other week, I would meet somebody that either went here uh -huh. ha or had a connection to Americas uh -huh. or or their brother went to Georgia Southwestern in 1985 or whatever it was. <laughs> it's uh, any, other, oh, the, any other school that I ever worked at, Georgia Southwestern has the biggest, from what my perspective, had the biggest alumni base than any other school that I've worked at. And, and it's amazing, you know, because I went to school here and graduated from here in 1984. And... Uh, like you said, it's amazing how it was. It was a small college then. I mean, it really wasn't like it is today. But you'd be amazed at the contacts and the people you run into that know where America Georgia is or know where Georgia Southwestern State University because they've heard it or they've had some type of connection to it. Yeah, it's a big alumni base. I think at the time, it was not now. I think had what, what year was Georgia Southwestern start? It was 106 years, so 116 years. Yeah. 116, 18 years old. So, you know, when you when you put together all those years, you got a big alumni base. <laughs> well, Coach, we appreciate you stopping by. It's always good to have you. Hey, don't be gone so long. Come <laughs> back and see us more often. Will do. Yeah, I got some business in town, and I appreciate that. And uh, it's really, really good to connect with a bunch of old friends and. And so, uh, yeah, I always like to you know wet my beak with the whole basketball tip too. So, well, I tell you what, uh, you're always welcome here. Anytime you're in the area, please stop by, and uh, we thank you for coming by. Ah, Coach Stephen Cox, formerly you. of the Georgia Southwestern State University Hurricanes.
We'll be back after this two-minute break for second-half action. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. What's, uh, what's the radio station? Na uh, 94.7. 94.7. WDEC. Okay. You can catch it if you're in the area anytime. They actually have an app. You can do it, too. Oh, so. cool. All right. Good to have you, you brother. Thank you. I appreciate right, it. Man. Come back Good by. See you. We'll do it. with Columbus State in possession of the basketball. Jelani Jones of Columbus State will inbound. Grant Howard and Devin Higg leaning on each other out there. Inbound goes to Grant Howard, Howard dribbles over here, right on the right wing in front of him, gets it to Daniel Melvin. Melvin top of the key for three, the shot is no good. Goes off the fingertips, and Johnny Jones hits the floor. They're gonna set it off the fingertips of Reggie Rayner. So it's gonna be Columbus State basketball underneath their own basket. Daniel Melvin will inbound to Jelani Jones, kicks it back out to Nelson Haskin, Haskin over to Grant Howard. Howard, top of the key, picked up by Grant Howard. Uh, Grant Higgs, that is. Howard, back out to Daniel Melvin. Long three-pointer, no good. Loose ball picked up by Reggie Rayner. Gonna get it to Philip Burwell, back to Rayner. Rayner up the right sideline. Hands it off to Brian Tolfrey. Tolfrey, picked up by Daniel Melvin. Dribbles around the circle to the left side on the left wing, back out to Burwell. Burwell to Devin Higgs, Jamari Dean. Eight on the shot clock. Burwell gonna have to find a shot quick. Gets it to toll free. Deep in the corner for three, no good. Loose ball on the floor and they're gonna say off of Kalen Clifton. So it's gonna be the Hurricanes basketball underneath their own basket. I didn't call a break that time. Reset the shot clock at 20. Inbounds goes to Reggie Rayner. Rayner dribbles. Pass over in the corner to Burwell. Burwell. Little dribble between the legs. Kicks it to Tolfrey down in the corner. Back out to Burwell. Burwell gets it to Jamari Dean at the free throw line. Down the lane. Little jump shot is no good. Rebound taken by Demir Black. Over to Melvin. Melvin off the glass, up and good. Daniel Melvin with his first basket of the night. Makes it 38 28. 10 point lead by Columbus State. Reggie Rayner with the basketball. Loses a handle on it. Picked up by Jelani Jones. Up court to Demir Black. Has his shot blocked by Reggie Rayner, but that's going to be called goaltending, basket interference, whatever you want to call it, all the same thing. 
So Demir Black will get credit for the basket. He'll have eight points tonight. 40 to 28. Work, Jelani, work! It was 28 to 28 at one time. Last 12 points, three-pointer by Devin Higgs, no good. Loose ball picked up by Grant Howard. Howard up court to Jelani Jones. Hits Haskins coming down the lane. He's going to get fouled. Foul's going to be on Jamari Dean. That'll be the first of the night on Jamari Dean. Nelson Haskins will go to the line. Haskins shooting 64% on the year, his first free throw of the night. On the way, it's up and good. Haskin now is seven points. It's the 13th straight point that Columbus State has scored since the first half. Second shot is up, it rolls in and out. Rebound by Burwell. Burwell now with the basketball. Cross court go, pass, Jelani. has it knocked away. Picked up there by Demir Black. Gives it up to Jelani Jones. A little finger roll is up and good. So Jones now in double figures with 10 points. 43-28, 15 point lead for Columbus State. Burwell backs out, kicks it over to Tollfree. Tollfree on the left wing, dribbles top of the key. Gets it to Burwell, down in the corner to Devin Higgs. Higgs for three, no good. Put back up by Tollfree, up and good. And a timeout will be called by Coach Aaron Coons. We'll take a media timeout here for 60 seconds. Columbus State leads by a score of 43 to 30. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. Back here at the Storm Dome where Columbus State leads by score 43 to 30, 17 18 on the clock here in the second half. It'll be Columbus State basketball. Daniel Melvin will inbounds for the Cougars. He's going to get it to Grant Howard. Full court pressure by the Hurricanes. Pass up court goes to Jelani Jones in the lane to Demir Black. That was way too easy. Black with the basket now in double figures. Extends the lead back to 15, 45 to 30. Burwell over to Tolfrey. Pump fake gets it out to Johnson. Johnson shot no good. Rebound by Jamari Dean. Swings it down in the corner for three for Brian Tolfrey. Shot no good, rebound by Jones, outlet pass. Goes to loose ball, picked up there by Jamari Dean. Burwell to Higgs, back to Burwell, down the baseline. Looks for a shot, goes up, good. Nice move in the lane by Philip Burwell. He has four points on the night. 45-32, Columbus State. to go here in the second half. Grant Howard shot up no good. He's going to get hammered and a foul. Foul's going to be on Jordan Johnson. That'll be his first foul of the night. Marcellus Lockett getting ready to check in. Lockett, a 6'3 sophomore from Carrollton, Georgia. Lockett.
Lockett with five points so far tonight. Grant Howard at the free throw line. His first free throw is on the way up and good. Lockett will check in for the Mayor Black. Second free throw on the way up. It's a little short. Rebound by Devin Higgs. Quickly up court to Brian Tolfrey. Tolfrey in the lane. Kicks it back out to Burwell. Jalen Jordan getting ready to check in. Tamari Dean wanted to shoot. Then he decided to try to pass. That shot is going to be knocked away by Devin Higgs. 15.48 to go here in the second half. We'll take a 60-second media timeout. You're listening to Georgia Southwestern State University Basketball on 94 Sports. second half, Columbus State leads 46 to 32. Columbus State had a 36 to 28 lead at halftime. Columbus State outscoring the Hurricanes 10 to four so far here in the second half. It'll be Columbus State basketball. Grant Howard inbound, going to be stolen by Jordan Johnson. Little running one-hander up and good. Johnson now with eight points. Makes it 46-34. Nice play that time by Jordan Johnson. Grant Howard back out to Daniel Melvin. Melvin out between the circles. Going to get a pick from Haskins. Gets it to Haskin. Haskin down the left side of the lane. Dribbles across the lane. A little jump hook is up and good. Nelson Haskin with the basket makes it 48 34. Johnson back out to Devin Higgs. Now going to get it to Jalen Jordan in the corner. Brian Tolfrey for three. No good. Loose ball taken by Nelson Haskin. Gets it to Grant Howard. Howard crosses midcourt. Picked up there by. Jordan Johnson, go. Howard to Haskin over here on the right wing. Haskin hands it off to Marcellus Lockett. Lockett back out to Grant Howard out between the circles. Seven on the shot clock. Going to get a pick from Haskin. Dribbles on the right side. Cross court pass, and they're going to say that Jelani Jones stepped on the sideline. With that. Jack McAleen will check in for the Hurricanes. McAleen. Devin Higgs will bring it up, gets it over to Burwell. Burwell down the right side. Higgs for three, that's long. Rebound by Johnson, snuck in there and got that. Devin Higgs now down the lane, left hand off the glass, up and good. Devin Higgs now with 14 points. Cuts it to 12, 48-36. 14.03 to go here in the second half. Grant Howard over here on the right wing. Back out top of the key to Marcellus Lockett. Lockett backs it back out. 
Dribbles over on the left wing. Picked up there by Jordan Johnson. Has to pick up his dribble. Devin Page picks up the loose ball, gets it to Jordan Johnson. Now Phillip Burwell. Je Joshua Jerome getting ready to check in for the Cougars. Phillip Burwell kicks it back out to Johnson. Jalen Jordan now swings it around to McElaine. McElaine for three, no good. Rebound, Jalen Jordan. His shot is back up and no good. Rebound by Lockett. Lockett gonna get it over to Grant Howard. Howard gonna cross midcourt. Picked up by McElaine. Howard dribbles down the lane, pulls up. Little 10-footer, no good. Rebound McElaine. McElaine gets it to Burwell. Burwell on the run, down the lane. Goes up, his shot no good. Rebound taken by Nelson Haskin. Haskin to Grant Howard. Howard cut off there by McElaine at the free throw line. In the lane to Delaney Jones, his left handed hook shot off the glass is no good. Rebound taken by Devin Higgs. Higgs, top of the key, shake and bake move, kicks it over to McElaine. McElaine for three. Good! McElaine for three. So the first three-pointer tonight for Jack McElaine. Makes it 48-39. We've got it inside of double figures. Daniel Melvin hands it off to Grant Howard. Howard back to Melvin. Melvin gonna be picked up by McElaine. Loose ball picked up by Melvin. Throws one up. Oh my gosh! How in the world did he make that go? I don't know, but he did. And with that, we'll take a timeout. 51-39, your score. Columbus State leads. We'll take a 60-second break. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. Back in the storm dome, 12.05 to go here in the second half. Columbus leads 51-39. Hurricane 17 for 40 from the floor, 43%. Columbus State 20 of 43, shooting 47%. About the same in the three point, 25% for the Hurricanes, 29% for Columbus State. Rainer back in the game, gonna drive down the right side and he's gonna get fouled. Tell him it's still a So Reggie Rainer will go to the line. That foul is gonna be on Marcellus Lockett. Rainer gonna get two free throws. Comes in shooting only 53% from the line. First free throw on the way is perfect. Reggie now with five points on the night, makes it 51 to 40. Second free throw on the way up, it's perfect. So Rainer two for two from the line so far tonight, makes it 51-41. Lead is 10, just under 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Marcellus Lockett down the right side. And a whistle. That's going to be on Jordan Johnson. As the official said, upside the head. Inbounds pass goes to Joshua Jerome. His three pointer is no good. Rebound by Philip Burwell. Burwell dribbles through traffic down the lane, pump fake, kicks it back out. Oh, 
Going to try to get it to Reggie Rayner. Rayner can't get it. Columbus stayed on the run. Joshua Jerome saves it, kicks it back out. Marcellus Lockett inside to Joshua Jerome. Tries to get it to Nelson Haskins. He can't get it. 15 on the shot clock. Three pointer is no good. Rebound by Reggie Rayner. Looks like Jordan Johnson is on the floor. Tim to Jordan Johnson. He'll get assistance over here to the sideline. So Jordan Johnson will make his way to the bench with the help. Coach Coons will have to sub in for. Jordan Johnson. We have Toll Free in the game now. Toll Free will get it to Burwell. Burwell crosses midcourt. Cougars lead by 10. Reggie Rayner back to Burwell. Over to Devin Higgs on the right wing. Back out to Burwell. Swings it around to McElene. McElene bounce pass to Reggie Rayner at the free throw line. Drives down the right side. Off the glass. Up and good. Reggie Rayner with the basket. 51-43. All we got to do is just take our time. There's plenty of time in this game. Chip away. We got to get a couple of two-for-one possessions here. Caitlin Clifton for Columbus State. Over to Joshua Jerome. Back to Clifton over here on the right wing. Guarded by Reggie Rainer. Clifton. Good. Throws one up from the baseline, no good. Rebound taken there by Ladarius Jones. Back out to Lockett, Lockett for three, up and good. Gotta keep them off the boards. Columbus State now with 11 offensive rebounds. And so it'll be Columbus State basketball. Ladarius Jones for Columbus State. 54 43, your score. Haskins gets it to Lockett. Lockett, top of the key over there on the right wing to Joshua Jerome. Jerome guarded by Tolfrey. Cross court pass to Haskins. Haskins tries to get down the lane. Two on the shot clock. Throws one up. No good. Reggie Rayner with the rebound. Kicks it out to Philip Burwell. Burwell on the run, gets it over to McElene. Reggie Rayner for three. And it goes in. It rolled around every inch of the, of the goal and finally fell in. Wow, I didn't think it was going to, but it did. Reggie Rayner now with 11 points. Cuts the lead. 54-46. Nine seventeen to go here in the second half. Lockett drives the right side, has it knocked away by Devin Higgs. Going to go out of bounds, so it'll be Columbus State basketball. Ten on the shot clock for the Cougars. Inbound by Kalen Clifton. Well, can't find anybody. He's going to have to call timeout. They'll take a 30-second break. So 9-12 to go, 54-46. Columbus State leads. We'll take a 30-second break. They say college is the best time of your life. But what about what comes next? At Georgia Southwestern State University, you're not just here for the clubs or the campus or the dining hall. You're here for small class sizes, affordable programs, and real-world experience. When you come to GSW, you're not just here for college. You're here for your tomorrow. Georgia Southwestern State University. Take tomorrow by storm. Back in the storm dome where Columbus State leads 54 to 46. 10 seconds on the shot clock for Columbus State. They'll have it underneath their own basket. 
Now there is Jones for Columbus State. Gets it inbounds to Kalen Clifton. Clifton to Haskins. Haskins on the baseline. Gives it to a streaking Kalen Clifton to the basket. Clifton will get the basket. That was too easy. Philip Burwell, Burwell over to McAleen. McAleen for three, no good. Rebound, Devin Higgs. Higgs back over to Tollfree in the corner. Tollfree looks, looks, looks. Dribbles out, gets it to McAleen. Swings it over to Devin Higgs. Higgs pulls up from the free throw line. It misses everything and save. McAleen now with the basketball. Shot no good. And now we're going to have a foul on Reggie Rayner. I'll be the first of the night on Reggie Rayner. Fourth team foul. That'll be the first personal foul on Reggie Rayner. Hey, Gator! 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 Columbus State now with the basketball. That's Ladarius Jones Gator! crossing midcourt. Let me pick up by Jack McElhane. Gets it over to Marcellus Lockett. Lockett now to Kalen Clifton down the lane. Up and good, and he'll get the foul. Kalen Clifton now in double figures. He'll get a free throw, he'll get an and one situation. That foul is gonna be on Devin Higgs. That'll be the second of the night on Devin Higgs. Fifth team foul here in the second half. Columbus State's only committed one foul in the second half. That free throw is no good. Rebound by Reggie Rayner. Rayner over to Burwell. Burwell cut off there by a double team. Brian Tollfree down in the corner to Devin Higgs. Cross court pass to McAleen. McAleen back out to Higgs. Higgs for the three pointer top of the key off the back of the rim. Long rebound by Nelson Haskins. Right, Haskins going to hand it off to Ladarius Jones. Jones backs it back out in between the circles. Jones over on the right wing to Lockett. Lockett. Kalen Clifton over on the left wing to Ladarius Jones. A little passing game going on here by the Cougars. Three-pointer by Marcellus Lockett, up and good. Lockett now with 11, extends the lead to 15, 61-46. Burwell, his shot knocked away. Loose ball picked up by Kalen Clifton. His shot is up and no good. Marcellus Lockett with the shot and the foul. And with that at the 722 mark, Columbus State leads 61-46. We'll take a 67. No belts and hoses, not X and O's. I do O2 sensors, but not defenses. Yeah, I make a right call to keep your car in the game. Don't even need a playbook, it's all in my brain. Fuel injectors, alternators, radiators too. It's who I am, it's what I do. Never know how. At Zaxby's, there's nothing better than hand-breaded chicken, unless it's hand-breaded chicken with sauce. From sweet to savory, mild to wild, even that world-famous Zax sauce. Whatever you're craving, we've got the sauce at Zaxby's. At Zaxby's, chicken and delicious go hand in hand, as in hand breaded, hand seasoned, and handmade to order. There's only one place you can get chicken like that, Zaxby's. State with a 15 point lead, 61-46. Cougars led by eight at halftime, 36-28. Congratulations to the Lady Hurricanes who defeated Columbus State by a score of 85 to 80. Hurricanes were led by JoJo Williams with 30 points. Jacqueline LeBay pitched in 17 points, and Ava Jones had 15 points. So congratulations to Coach Justin Payne and the Lady Hurricanes. Free throw on the way by Lockett is up and good. So Lockett now with 12 points. He'll get a second free throw. Second free throw by Lockett. Six three sophomore from Carrollton. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, snatched down there by 
Devin Higgs. Higgs over to Tolfrey. Tolfrey back to Higgs. Higgs, a little no look pass to Jordan Johnson. Can't get it to go. Rebound taken by Ladarius Jones. Jones cut off by Brian Tolfrey. Down the lane, throws it up, has it knocked away there by Devin Higgs. Nice defensive effort that time by Devin. Marcellus Lockett will inbounds underneath his own basket. Marcellus to Kaylin Clifton. Clifton directing traffic, gets it over to Ladarius Jones. Ladarius Jones out near midcourt. Going to be picked up by McElroy. Marcellus Lockett, spin moves in the lane. Looks, can't find anybody. And now we're going to have a whistle. We're going to have a three-second call. 13, 13. That'll be a turnover on Columbus State. Hurricanes with 17 turnovers tonight. Columbus State only with 11. Sally with the ball on that side, you got to get down. Devin Higgs for the Hurricanes, back out to Burwell, cross court pass to Higgs. Hey, Angelotti! Higgs, back to Burwell. Burwell throws up a three pointer from deep on the left wing, no good. Ow. Rebound taken by Caden Clifton. Ow. Quickly up court, Amir Black with the basketball, has it taken away there by Jordan Johnson. Johnson throws it off the glass, up and good! Jordan Johnson now in double Ow. figures with 10 points. Ladarius Jones for Columbus State with Demir Black. Down in the corner to Marcellus Lockett. Lock it back out to Demir Black. Black picked up by McElaine. 13 on the shot clock. Gets it in the lane to Kalen Clifton. His shot is knocked away by Devin Higgs. See who they're going to call that on. They're going to call that on Reggie Rayner. That'll be his second foul of the night. Seventh foul. That'll put Columbus State in shooting the bonus. Kaylin Clifton will get a free throw here. On the way up, it's no good. I think they're going to say Clifton was in the act of shooting. So he'll get a second free throw here. Second free throw on the way, it's up and it's good. 13! Clifton now with 11 points. Extends the lead back to 15, 63-48. Devin Higgs for the Canes, over to Burwell, down in the corner to Jordan Johnson, back out to Burwell. Cross court pass to Higgs. Higgs pulls up, throws it in the corner to Johnson. Johnson on the baseline, shot no good. And now we're gonna have a foul. You can make it up. Ain't no way. <laughs> Robert Moore. And the uh, foul's going to be on Ladarius Jones. 537 to go here in the second half. 63 48. Columbus State leads. Philip Burwell with inbounds. Jack McAleen with a quick three pointer. Up, no good. Rebound by Kalen Clifton. Clifton up court to Marcellus Lockett. Lockett hands it off to Ladarius Jones. Jones out near midcourt. Jones gets a pick from Kalen Clifton. Drives down the left side, little finger roll off the glass, up and good. So Ladarius Jones with his first basket of the night, 65-48. McAleen, pump fake, throws up the three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Reggie Rayner, gonna go back up, has it knocked away there by Jalen Jones, and a foul will be called. That'll be the first foul on Jalen Jones for the night. So, Reggie Rayner will go to the line. Rayner, first free throw on the way up and good. So, Rayner perfect for the night, three for three from the free throw line. Daniel Melvin. And Grant Howard will check back in. Jordan Whitening will check in for the Hurricanes. Jalen Cameron also in for the Hurricanes. 5.02 to go here in the second half. 65-49. Gerardo Briscoe getting ready to check back in. 
Second shot, no good. Loose ball picked up there by Grant Howard, taken away by Devin Higgs. Goes up off the glass, good. Devin Higgs now with 16 points with the steal and the basket. 65-51. 4.45 to go here in the second half. Still plenty of time. Gonna have to have a couple of two for one possessions though. Daniel Melvin down in the corner. The Lonnie Jones shot no good. Rebound Jordan Johnson. Johnson gonna hand it off to Jordan Whitening. Whitening to Devin Higgs. Higgs down the left side, turn around, jump shot on the baseline, up and it falls. He got the roll on that one, makes it 65-53. Lead is 12. Cross court pass is gonna go out of bounds. Grant Howard expected one of the Cougars to be racing up the sideline. There was no one there, so that's a turnover on Columbus State. The 14th turnover of the night on Columbus State. Inbounds pass goes to Jordan Whitening. Back to Jalen Cameron. Cameron for three off the back of the rim. Devin Hicks. Hicks gets the rebound, but they're going to call a foul. Foul's going to be on Wisdom Uba. Jordan Whitening will inbounds for the Canes. Inbounds go to Gerota Briscoe. Now handed off to Jalen Cameron. Back over to Devin Higgs. Higgs fires a bullet to Cameron at the free throw line. Makes the shot, but a whistle before. And the foul is going to be on Ladarius Jones. And with that, we'll have a. to go here in the contest. Columbus State leads 65 to 53. It'll be Hurricane basketball. Jordan Whitening will inbounds for the Canes. Inbounds goes to Jalen Cameron in the corner, hands it back to Jordan Whitening. Whitening. Gets it back out to Devin Higgs. Higgs over to Jordan Johnson. His shot is partially blocked. Picked up there by Ladarius Jones. Jones dribbles across midcourt. And we have kicking. The pass was going to Wisdom Ubo. You get it, you get it. Devin Higgs, nice punt by Devin. Good hang time, no return. So it will be Columbus State basketball. Wisdom Ubo. Devin Higgs will guard the inbound. Ubo will inbound to Ladarius Jones. Jones dribbles past Whitening, kicks it in the corner to Daniel Melvin. Back out to Ladarius Jones, 10 on the shot clock. 
gets it over to Melvin. His three-pointer is up and good. Daniel Melvin with eight points on the night. 68-53. Devin Higgs now with the basketball. Higgs over to Whitening. Whitening, left-hand shot on the baseline. About a 10-footer, no good. Rebound, Nelson Haskins. Daniel Melvin for three from the right side, and it's good. See? Daniel Melvin trying out both sides, makes them from both sides. Two forty-nine to go here in. So the official is going to take time to review to decide whether it was a three-pointer or a two-pointer. it up and now another whistle. So Higgs gonna get it into Jordan Whitening. Whitening over to Johnson. Now Briscoe in the corner for three, no good. Rebound for Darius Jones on the run, gets it to Haskin. Haskin moves the handle, picks it up on the block, kicks it back out. Now in the corner to Melvin, his shot that time, it's the side of the backboard. Devin Higgs pass knocked away. Picked up there by Wisdom Ubo. Ubo down the lane, gets it to Haskin. Haskin loses a handle on it. Saved there by Jordan Johnson. Not sure what the call is there, but it looks like they're gonna give the ball to Columbus State. 21 on the shot clock for the Cougars. Reggie Rayner will enter the contest for so Darius Jones gets it in the Nelson has the top of the key. Hands it to Roman Sun. Sun up the left sideline. Gives it to Ubo. Ubo over to Jones. Jones right here in front of us. Dribbles down the lane, goes up, has it knocked away by Reggie Rayner. Loose ball picked up by Sun, gets it over to Daniel Melvin. Melvin for three, no good. Ubo with the attempted putback, can't get it to go. Going to be Georgia Southwestern basketball. Harry Robinson, the fourth, will check in for Columbus State. Just under two minutes to go here. In the contest, Mason Pierre for Columbus State. Jordan Johnson back to Jalen Cameron. Cameron, cross court pass to Jordan Whitening. Whitening dribbles down the left side, kicks it over to Cameron in the corner. Cameron down on the baseline, can't find a shot, gets it out to Gerardo Briscoe. Briscoe to Reggie Rayner. Rayner shake and bake move, goes down the lane, lays one up, no good. Rebound taken by Perry Robinson, the fourth. Quickly up court to Wisdom Ubo. Ubo back out. Long three pointer. Nope, fake. Going to back it back out by Ladarius Jones. Jones, cross court pass to Mason Pierre. Pump fake, gets it back out to Jones. Jones for three. In and out. Rebound by Reggie Rayner. Jordan Whitening to Briscoe. Bris Briscoe to Rayner. Rayner top of the key. Pulls up, shot up. Back of the rim, no good. Ladarius Jones, loose ball. Out to Roman Sun. Sun for three on the left wing, good. Roman Sun will get the three pointer. A substitution timeout as Keenan Swan will enter the contest. Jordan Whitening. 
Whitening over to Rayner. Jordan Johnson, spin move. Left hand shot off the glass, up and good. Jordan Johnson has quietly had a good game tonight with 12 points. Roman Sun, 21 seconds to go in the game. Sun gonna dribble right here in front of us. 13 seconds. Jordan Johnson defending right here in the corner at midcourt. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Columbus State takes the win, 74 to 55. We'll be back after this to talk to head coach Aaron Coombs and give you the statistical rundown of tonight's game. After this, you're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. Again, you heard it earlier, the next home game is Saturday night. Back here at Stone Dog, it's Young Harris. Come on back, 5.30, 7.30. Start time for the ladies at 5.30, the men at 7.30. Have yourself a great evening. Hey, Ben, Ben, Ben. Wherever you're heading tonight, get there safely. We look forward to seeing you back here Saturday.